Okay, so how about a shorter anime? Look, just because an anime has 500 less episodes than One Piece does not make it short. No, 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 I, I get it, I get it, but you like superheroes in the MCU, so how about an anime about superheroes training in a school that is meant to teach you how to be a superhero? Okay, I'll, I mean, I'll check that one out. For real? Alright, check out the first episode. Fear not, citizens! Hope has arrived! Because I am here! So... Okay, that was pretty dope. That, um, that All Might guy, <laughs> he was awesome. That is perfect. I was hoping you said that because I'm about to break down that character's fighting style. Of course you are. What's up guys, it's the old Ninja Warring Avia Design Superhero Hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja channel. The only channel where you can get your full martial arts and nerd fix at the same time. Now if you've been around this channel enough, you would know about the Fight Like a Superhero series. It's a series where you get to learn how to fight like your favorite fictional characters in real life. Now to be quite blunt with you, I've been on an anime kick recently and it is 100% my wife's fault. And if she's watching, Thank you. But with my anime kick in full swing, I thought it'd be time to do a character from one of my favorite animes out there. Today, let's figure out how to fight like the My Hero Academia's All Might. Now let's just make this clear. There is no way your punches are gonna be changing the weather anytime soon. Yeah, I know I haven't figured it out yet. I'm just as upset as you are. But what I'm really wondering is if his fighting style actually holds up without all the, you know, plus ultra strength. Go beyond! Plus! Ultra! But even though you will never have that one for all strength, I am still starting this video out with some strength training. You serious? I mean, yeah, you won't be throwing cars, but you're going to need to punch hard and jump high. So consider looking into the workout regimen of some track and field players and football players. Football because, well, you know, just look at All Might. Just tell me that doesn't have the body of a football player. Those guys are just straight up a complete beast of a man. It is intense. And that track and field is to make sure you can put some focus on that awesome jump power. All Might can literally fly through the air by jumping. So you're gonna wanna be able to jump pretty a pretty good distance yourself if at all possible. I mean, you know, for a human without a quirk. Yeah, I know I totally just did two episodes of this back to back where the first fighting style isn't actually a martial art. I promise, it was not intentional. But it's still what's gonna prepare you to fight like All Might. And hey, maybe hit two birds with one stone and clean up some local beaches while you're strength training. You know, just for the environment. Now continuing onto his fighting style, All Might uses a loose boxing stance and uh, an arguably bad boxing technique. I mean, that is when his hands are going slow enough to see that is. So regardless of how his technique actually is, this is absolutely going to be boxing. And you're gonna wanna learn boxing first. Now, to be fair, there are several types of boxing styles out there, so you're gonna wanna focus on Western boxing, considering All Might is based on Western superheroes. Now, I'm pretty sure everyone on this planet has heard of boxing in one way or another. I mean, it's one of the most popular sports out there. But just in case, it's a stand-up, striking-focused combat sport. Unlike other styles I've covered in this series, it only uses hand strikes like jabs, hooks, and crosses. And that just makes it perfect for All Might because he is all about those hands and only those hands. But what you may not have known is that boxing can trace its lineage back all the way to the third millennium BC or around 1350 BC, roughly give or take. So the style truly does stand the test of time. And I mean, is that even surprising? Humans are all about their hands being rated E for everyone. That's just how it is. And they always have and probably always will. Now there are a couple sub-styles of boxing out there. The fighter or boxer, the brawler or slugger, and the inside fighter or swarmer. And of course, the best one, the subscriber. Those are the guys that focus on punching that subscribe button and the really good ones even hit that notification bell. <laughs> Say what you want, but I like that transition. But 
Regardless, let's continue. Each style has its positives and negatives, but it ends up looking a lot like a rock, paper, scissors match, where each style has an advantage over another one. The boxer beats the brawler, the brawler beats the swarmer, and the swarmer beats the boxer. Now, which one is All Might? Well, first let's figure out what the difference is between these different styles of boxing. The boxer seeks to maintain distance between himself and his target, usually fighting with faster, longer range punches. Most notably, relying on the jab to gradually wear down an opponent punch by punch, and eventually, take the dub in that way. Now this doesn't mean that these guys are not a force to be hold in the ring. In fact, one of the most prominent users of this style of boxing is also someone considered to be the all-time great of boxing. The legend himself, Muhammad Ali. I told you all that I was the greatest of all time. Going over to the brawler, this fighter is one who generally lacks finesse and footwork in the ring, but makes up for it through straight up punching power. And so by the nature of these fighters, they tend to trade mobility for performing more in a more stable base and usually don't pursue fighters and dance around the ring all too much. And on top of that, many of these fighters have a tendency to ignore highly detailed combinations in favor of a good old fashioned just beat down, overwhelming their opponent. Often choosing to throw slower and more powerful punches one after another after another. A prime example of how powerful these fighters can be is George Foreman himself, an absolute monster. The Swarmers try and stay close to their opponents, throwing intense flurries and combinations to overwhelm their opponent with their like intense speed. However, this style does require a lot of durability because they usually have to eat a bunch of jabs in order to get inside to do the damage they want to do. These fighters are often on the shorter side and have less reach than their opponents overall, making them much more effective at a short distance compared to someone with super long limbs. However, it is not unheard of for a taller fighter to effectively use this style as well. Notably, Henry Armstrong is famous for his aggressiveness in this swarming style of boxing. Now, each of these boxing styles has a couple sub-styles underneath that that if you want me to go over, I will, but that's, you know, gonna make this video way too long. So just let me know down in the comments if you want me to do that. Now, after taking all these styles into consideration, for what All Might uses, an argument can be made for both the Boxer and the Swarmer. But I truly believe the Brawler is going to be the style of choice for anyone trying to fight like All Might. I mean, it's pretty clear that All Might just straight up overpowers his opponents with his brute force. And, you know, that's kind of why I like him. So, own it, bro. Own it. If you can really withstand me firing at 100% of my power, then I'll have to go beyond that and force you to surrender! Now, that is the main fighting style you're gonna use, but All Might does use some throws in his fighting style. So I definitely want to mix in some Hapkido. It is a Korean hybrid martial art and it focuses on employing joint locks, grappling, and throwing techniques. Now it does have some striking attacks, but that's just not the focus of the art as a whole. Hapkido focuses on three main principles, harmony or simply staying relaxed and not directly opposing the opponent's force, the circle principle, which is a way to gain momentum in combat, and the water principle, which is a way to move the target down the path of least resistance. This style can truly teach you some amazing things, but remember, you're trying to fight like All Might, so all you really need to be there for is the throws and learning how to throw people effectively. With that combined with your strength, when you have leverage and strength, you can just toss people left and right. And after mixing it all together, blending in strength training, boxing, and hop keto throwing, you should be able to go plus ultra yourself and send that United States smash into anyone that opposes you. United States smash! All while repping that big All Might grin. Now remember, this is only my opinion on how to fight like him in real life. So if I miss something or if you think I'm completely wrong, tell me. I'd love to know your opinion in the comments below. But until next time, my name is DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. Guys, if you like anime like I do and you like this video, check out my episode about Sanji from One Piece. Or you can check out this other video that you think you're going to like. Either way, I'll see you in the next one.